Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is an evening darshan given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on November 14th, 2019 at New Pani Hari Dam in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Pangalangaya Tegarim, Yakipata the Hanman Ne, Sri Gaudi the Tadiram, Paravan and the Vadavam, Sri Chaitanya Isram, Adihio Tatsat. So, I'm very happy that here. We are no Vani Hati Dham. The deities are known as Harcha Avatars. They are the incarnations of the Lord in a worshipable form. And it says that each Deity has Leela by Chitra or a variegated pastime. So it's not unusual if different deities have different pastimes. I asked in Los Angeles if if they have any pastimes of the deities, those many Dragades and the Thai Gaur, or the Thai, the Jalla Bhadesh Bhadra. Here in Nupani Hati, we have Lord the Thai, we have Jalla Bhadesh Bhadra, Sudarshan Chakra, and we also have. Radha Madan Ram. So Prabhupada came here and sang the song Parma Karuna. Qualifying the deities of Gordon and Thai for in Atlanta. He was crying and saying how fortunate the devotees were that Gordon and Thai had come from a long distance to give them his, their mercy. Lord Chaitanya, he came in a show Prabhupada's explaining in a Srimad Bhagavatam class how a Kalayuga that three avatars mentioned. But he quoted from Bhagavad Gita. Krishna said, Vaitanaya sadhanam vinashaya sarusadam karma sangstavanataya sambhavani yoga yoga. I come in every yoga to annihilate the mysteries, to protect the devotees, to establish the principles. Of religion. So Krishna I tell you what there are three avatars mentioned. Allah said the first avatar is Lord Buddha. Although Buddha he did not answer a question whether there is a God. And most Buddhists think that there is no God. But he did say to worship him, to follow him. 
So Krishna Prabhupada was saying how intelligent Krishna is. That indirectly he said, oh, no God, follow me. And so they follow what Buddha. They read his teachings. They perform arti. Just like we worship Krishna, they worship what Buddha in sense and so on. So Prabhupada was saying, how intelligent is Krishna? He tell he that he to bring over the atheist people, he said, Don't believe in God. Believe in me. So they worship Lord Buddha. But Buddha was God. <laughs> so then he uh, quoted a verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam which predicted that Krishna would come in a non-black color as Lord Chaitanya. Lord Gauranga. Gauranga. And he would be accompanied by his associates, Sangapangas to Parshadam. He would have very various associates with him. Do you need a repetition? No. To understand me, do you need a repetition? Yes, you can understand the United States. No problem. You can understand the United States. Anyone need a repetition? No, no, no. So, in that verse, it says that those who are having good intelligence, they will follow Lord Chaitanya. And they'll do the sacrifice of chanting the holy name. A problem dwells on this point for a long time. He said, if you don't like to chant the name Krishna, Krishna means all attractive, reservoir of all pleasure or happiness. So it's a good name for the personality of Godhead. But if you don't like this name, any name mentioned by some one of right scripture, Allah, or Jehovah, or any name. Chant that name, you don't write. We chant the name mentioned in the Vedas, Krishna and Rama. Everybody here has the name Rama. <laughs> so, but uh, the father has quoted the Brihat Naradiya Prad. Harinahama, 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 Hello, Vanas, they were Nas, they were Nas, they were what here? Anyata. But in Kaliva, there's no alternative, no alternative, no alternative, except to chant the name of Hari. Hari means the Lord, the Supreme Lord. That's the only process recommended. A sacrifice. Is an activity meant for the pleasure of Krishna. So, I just brought was explaining very simply how people in this age who fully they could chant the holy name, and this way they could be saved. I was thinking how. Last time I was in America, I gave several programs at the Universal Unitarian Church and uh, and I nice people. So they appreciated my class. I was thinking how in America, Lord Jesus, 
he said that he felt so loved God with all the heart, with all the body, with all the mind. But actually, to find out about the Supreme Personality Godhead. Yes, what does he do? What does he look like? People, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Oh, how can you love someone who's a mystery? So, in the, in the Bhagavatam, there's so many descriptions of great devotees and different incarnations of Godhead. Like one of the incarnations is one of the Manus who appeared, and he was to gather two of each species and take them in a boat. The boat was guided by Matsya Avatar, who was the Lord in the form of a fish. The Lord appears in all the different species. He has the Kormadev, the Tardis, the Mahadev, the Boar, the Matsya, the fish, the Shemadev, half of a man, and have lion like this. And all this in the Ananda Dev appears as a snake. So in all the different species of life, a Lord comes and his original form is Krishna and his highest expansion is Ram. So People may worship Krishna or Ram, or they may worship one of the other avatars, Radev, Matsya, Karma, Buddha. So, it was very interesting how Prabhupada presented that those who are intelligent, they follow Lord Chaitanya. He said intelligence doesn't mean it's nothing very difficult. Like in America, you drive on the right side. The scientists say, don't drive on the left, stay to the right. <laughs> if you drive to the left in America, that's rule number one. You're going to come into an accident, a headlong collision. It doesn't. It's ordinary intelligence. Why do something which is more difficult if you can achieve the same result by doing something simple? Mm -hmm. So chanting Hare Krishna is more simple. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to do something more difficult? Mm -hmm. Yoga, fire sacrifice, pranayam, all these things are much more complicated. Chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare. This is very simple. Although Prabhupada in his life, he said men have a more weight brain than women. But he said that it doesn't matter for spiritual life. Because anybody, whether a woman, a man, whether they're a mercantile, a worker, or whatever they may be, they can, if they surrender to Krishna, they can achieve the highest perfection. As I said that many women and most religions of the world, since the women are less, are more simple-hearted, less delicious that sometimes the, the, the rather more women are part participating in the different religions. And men are not as voluminous as women. The problem is saying that the ladies have a great option, a great 
potential to be very elevated devotees and that size of the rain and all that. And that is, it's not important. I heard one joke that uh, someone was saying, a man's brain is $200. So a woman's brain is a thousand. I said, why? Is it used? The woman uses a brain, the man <laughs> not know that. So, I said, too, but the fact is that Prabhupada said, it does not matter whether you're a man or woman to reach spiritual perfection. Everyone has a chance. And uh, that, that, that may be like a man is built different than a woman. That may be there. But that has nothing to do with spiritual life, that's material. So, uh, it's very nice to hear Prabhupada explain. It was in August 1968. I think I must have been there in Montreal when he gave that lecture. I was trying to hear the questions to see if I asked any question. Because I was in the habit of asking a question. But I couldn't hear. The questioner was a very low voice. Said the mic was with Sir Prabhupada. It was a very nice class. Anyway, I'm still tired from my journey. And, uh, but if there are any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer. I feel. Anyone has a question? Can hear what she said. How, how do we encourage children to chant? Well, interesting question to ask the sannyasi. You should know better than me. <laughs> I, I have a lot more children, but they're all grown up. <laughs> uh, I saw it in New Taliban that one lady had a fight of Sundays. And, that was, and all the kids around said, Chant me one round. And they all chanted when they were looking at the fight of Sundays. <laughs> After one round was finished, she gave each one a lot of Sundays. <laughs> So, I don't know if that's the universal principle one. <laughs> but Guru Prana says that children like sweets. <laughs> <laughs> Some boys and girls chant because they feel inspired. What inspires them? That's a good question. What inspires you? You. <laughs> I said someone told me that they were the parents said after they saw you my children started to chant. I thought he's suffering so much yet he's still enthusiastic so why don't I chant? Prabhupada was saying that although maybe what Lord Buddha did was a kind of cheating because he said, well, we don't worry about God. Just follow me. But he was himself God. <laughs> so Prabhupada said that sometimes a little child may have a hundred dollar bill the father is worried that maybe the child will destroy the 
hundred dollar bill. So he offers it. Give me that useless paper. Papers. Valuable lozenge. <laughs> you know, oh, lozenge. He might take that lozenge. Give that hundred dollar bill. And the child doesn't know that a hundred dollars will buy kilos and kilos of lozenge. So sometimes it's not, Prabhupada said, it's not really cheating because it's for the atheists or the children's uh, benefit. So, like that, you can see how to benefit the children. What's the tactic? What's the source? You tell me. Your mother's not better than me. <coughs> Hello? Yes. Uh, Maharaj, you talked about the first, you talked about there were three avatars in Kali Yuga, and you talked about the first two avatars. Did you talk about the third avatar? Oh, third avatar is Kalki Dev. He comes at the end of Kali Yuga. And finishes everybody off. It says that he comes 432,000 uh, years after the start of Kali Yuga. Uh, in South India, there's one husband and wife. They claim to be Kalki all the time. So somebody went to see him and said, Anjo, don't you have your like, calendar messed up? <laughs> I just wrote the calendar after 400,000 years. Said, well, I may not be called you, but I am a god. <laughs> cheaters and a cheater. Anyway, Kalki is scheduled for the end of and who his mother is, where he'll be born, all this is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Well, we hope that you go back to God and be born then. <laughs> yes, Navadi <laughs> Vila. Did you raise your hand? Behind you. Maharaj, uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, we can chant name Allah or Jehovah. So, if somebody is chanting Allah, uh, sincerely, they are Muslims or, and they are chanting that, where would they go, Guru Maharaj, end of their life? Say, Father was saying that Hari Nama, we should chant the name of Hari. Hari means the Supreme Lord. So if there's any name mentioned in the bona fide scripture of the Supreme Lord, and he said you can chant that, we're not against that. So we believe there's only one Supreme Godhead. He has many forms, many names, and uh, well, they will go to him. If at the time of death, they're chanting his name. Problem is, although Lord Chaitanya and the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he mentioned that the, the Quran has many surahs which state that Allah is a person. He has personal qualities. But most of the Muslims think that Allah is impersonal. So, Lord Chaitanya was explaining that this is not correct. And I had a Muslim scholar 
PhD, look up in the Quran, you can only find one verse that said Allah is like a light. There's only verses that said Allah is merciful, Allah is kind, Allah is like so all these are you don't think of a light bulb is very kind. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs> light bulb, very <right>, merciful. <laughs> <laughs> so all these qualities of Allah are mentioned in the Quran. They are personal qualities. And uh, in the Hadith, Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, he describes how when he was giving a class, he saw the hand of Allah touching his shoulder. So all these things are there. Still, Muslims generally think Allah is impersonal. And many uh, Christians think also. They say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, but their concept is impersonal. So what Prophet wanted to do was to convince people that there was a personal Godhead, a supreme person, and his impersonal and otherwise aspect, his Holy Ghost aspect, and his impersonal aspect are subordinate. They're depending on the personal aspect. Do you have a question? No. <laughs> you look like a very intelligent girl. I bet she has a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm just trying to ask them. So, any you know, you know, question on the internet? Any question in the internet? How many are watching? How many are watching? Uh, 102. 103. 103. Huh? 104 now. 105 now. Uh, 4 or 5, huh? <laughs> 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 In India now it's morning time. <laughs> Unlikely that many are watching in India. Roman, uh, there's a question. Uh, a devotee is asking, can we do Damodara Arati after Karthik? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, it won't be called Dominic Arti. <laughs> but you can do, I mean, I do a life offering every day I go to see the deities. Even today I I saw Goan and Thai and Jagannath Valdez, Radha and Pratha, Madan Mahan, and I offered a lamp, a flower, and a everybody. So you can offer at this time the mother heart date to get a hundred times the benefit. But you can offer anyone. And uh three months which are very special are Kartik, Vaisak, and uh Mark. But on a currency also it's special. Anyway, I offer every day. I got a problem that should we do something special for Dhamma? And uh, he said, you see, Dhamma month is a special offer to get new customers. But you're a regular customer. 
Ah, uh, you all know every day. Why should I go? So, regular customer gets the benefit of all the sales. But the sales are particularly to attract new customers. So, down that month is uh, attracting the new customer. Go to the house, we invite people to take advantage because such an offer. But you can offer Puja to Krishna every day. No, no limit. Hi, Krishna. Hi, boy. Don't you offer a lamp every day? Who well, here offers a lamp regularly? Thank you. Another question? Last question. Uh, so my first question is, how, how do we get spiritual master's blessing to understand the shastras or scriptures? This is from Lokesha Krishna, Kirtan Das, and all the people in the video. What? How do we get the spiritual master's blessing to understand shastras or scriptures? Shastras of? Or scriptures. Scriptures, scriptures shastras or scriptures. What's the difference? Well, <laughs> 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 uh, the same process for scripture, that's for Shastra. <laughs> now, every spiritual master is a person. So he may give out his blessings differently. That I'm very pleased. And I see devotees uh, doing any kind of reaching, taking any kind of responsibility, doing any service. I'm very appreciative. And I pray to Krishna for that. So, but I don't, maybe other spirits and masters have other criteria you can ask. I guess. Do you like our ad free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.